right, Jamie. What's up? What hey, are your um. Today? What well, are you thinking? My thoughts today are first off, happy Fourth of July, everybody. It's an amazing Fourth of July. Nowhere I'd rather be than right here, right now, with my fam. Uh, it's lovely to be here getting a little bit of Brett, Brittany, uh, Maxwell, and Luke on camera because you're going to see more of them on some upcoming cruises. I got it. Hopefully the Breeze, definitely the Legend, and uh, we'll see how that plays out. And um, we're just having a good time. So we're having a beverage right now as usual. We've got this. We've got Wait, this. Hang on a second. We've got Brett. Did you say that we would definitely be on the Legend? Oh yeah, you're definitely gonna be on the. You don't know yet. You're booked on the legend. You said you March, said, March sixth. March. Okay. Brett, you're the one that said you wanted to go to the Panama Canal. Yeah. But Brittany was. Brittany was not on that. On no, board of that she one. wasn't. She's not really on that. But there is another option for the Mardi Gras cruise also. If so you guys want, we can do a May thing. Maybe the Mardi Gras. Your own chips. I think Brittany's more on board with the Mardi Gras. When's the Mardi Gras one? May. May. Can't do it. I'm gonna be in New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand. Well, it, it might be Brittany without Brett. That's fine. <laughs> Brittany can take the kids. Let's see what's on the menu for lunch today. It's a camping lunch. Maxwell, that's far enough. It's really it's exciting pretty. making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yep. What's up, Matthew? Hey. Where are we at right now? We're at Mormon Lake. We took a ride out here to get away from the campsite, cool off a minute. This is a little overlook. You can see over my head, that's Mormon Lake. It is dry. I mean, with the exception of a few uh, little places where there's still uh, some water out there, but it's all kind of like marshland now. It's more like a, a wildlife uh, uh, refuge. Um, you see the sign here behind me. So this is just a cool little overlook, but amazing views of the area here. Um, it's gorgeous. Look right down in that. That little spot right there. Uh, elk just walked right there. Brett spotted an elk out there. We're gonna see if we can get a look at it. Right there, just in one of those little pockets. Just keep looking at all those little pockets down there. I don't know if we get a second glance. But yeah, I mean, there's gonna be wildlife, animals. Lots of elk up in this area at this elevation. They could just be down there, laying low, keeping cool, drinking. So that's a quick look, Mormon Lake. We took a lap around this joint, amazing place. Um, I don't know, if you come off the flagship, you gotta go check it out. So here we are, we're out on what's probably going to be our last ride of the, uh, the weekend of camping. It is uh, 4th of July evening, uh, a little before we settle in for some steak dinners at the campsite. And uh, we're just taking a ride and you see amazing views like this when you're cruising around Arizona, northern Arizona. These are the San Francisco Peaks. I just got that information whispered into my ear. Check it out.
are getting ready for dinner. We have some Ooh, breath. 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 Look at that. That's a heart attack. It's zucchini, yellow squash, cheese, um, is that Onion. onions and peppers? No jalapenos. Jalapenos. Oh, jalapenos. Wow, look at that. She's just realized that, she won't like it. That is going to be so good. <laughs> We're going to have a tasty little dinner here. Probably make some more s'mores tonight, have a few drinks, and look at the beautiful scenery out here. Are you showing yourself? <laughs> look out there. Travel. Thank you. Oh, there's a big old, big old moon coming up there. Night has fallen here at the campsite. Uh, we are cooking up some grub. Um, we've got some steaks going. Brett is making some kind of a squash succotash uh, special thing. I have no idea what it is actually. Squash succotash. Suffering succotash. And um, we're having some beverages. Uh, and things are just going splendidly. So uh, we're winding down from an amazing 4th of July day. We covered a lot of ground. Um, Sharon's back, may or may not be out. We'll have to fill you in later on that. And, uh, but we had a great time. So there's Sharon right there. Sharon, who you got there? I have little Luke. Luke. Luke, Luke. I'm not your father. And we are getting ready to eat some steaks for dinner. And look who's back there. Up oh, there's Brittany. Luke's mama. And the boys have headed, I don't know where they, they went somewhere to try to get a, a internet signal so that they could download something. I don't know, I have sound no idea. Machine app. A sound machine app to put the kids to sleep. So we'll see how that plays out. But that's a quick update, guys. Uh, check out the food. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yes, those lights come in handy. Mommy! How you doing, Matthew? You got some food there? Good. Just about the Good job. Sure. Look at this. Oh yes. Amazing. Looks amazing. Lucy, that is not for you. You get out of here. <laughs> we are in scary. Look. The tent. We are in the tent. We are in the tent and we are going to sleep. What a great day. It was a great day. We are exhausted. Well, we just want to say goodnight, guys. Um, we are going to sleep. That's all you got? That's goodnight, all guys. I got. And we're going to sleep? That's all I got. All right. a great day. Good night, Matthew. Good night. Oh, Matthew's <laughs> over there. Good night, Matthew. I don't know if you can see him. We got, a, ooh, we got our lantern here. So that you could see us because it's right. pitch dark in the tent. We um we finished up an amazing meal. We had a few beverages and, and we decided to be responsible and go to bed on time and get a good night's sleep. On time. Well, you know, it's not midnight or anything. Yeah. We're not full all night. There's no cows mooing tonight. Last night there were cows yeah, mooing all mean, night long. To jinx it. Um, but so far You may have jinxed it. Once I heard a cow. But that's yes. It. We saw a lot of elk tonight too. Did see some elk. That was very cool. Very cool stuff. So that's it, guys. That's the deal. We're wrapping up 4th of July evening. We had a great day. Happy 4th. Uh, happy 4th to you. You're not going to be watching this on the 4th. Why would no. I even say happy 4th no. to you? We hope you had a great 4th of July, <laughs> as we did. And um, tomorrow morning, we're going to get up. We're going to have a big, big breakfast and uh, hang around for a little bit before heading back down the mountain, back to the Phoenix area, back to 100 degree, 110 degree weather. Yeah. We had a great time. And that's it. So, good night, everyone. Good night, guys. Peace. We'll talk to you soon. What do you got for breakfast there, Maxwell? Uh, uh, a raspberry jersey, strawberry, um, bacon and eggs. How is that bacon cooked? Properly today? <laughs> Have you tried it yet? Are you finding it to your liking? Very good. Good stuff. Give me a thumbs up if it's good. Thumbs up. 
One up and one down. Wow, middle of the road. Interesting. Matthew, how are you doing over there? Good. Good? Having some eggs. Very nice. Good. Brittany? Yeah. You can toss that. That cheese is Brittany, pretty. turn around and say hi so we're not just seeing your butt ski. Pretty ruined. Hi. And a good morning to you. That's a little bit of what's going on this morning here. Here at camp, we're breaking camp this morning. It is July 5th. The party's over. We're having an amazing breakfast cooked by none other than Chef Brett. And then we're going to uh, start cleaning up this joint. Look at that loud noise in the background. The loud noise in the background that everyone seems to have an issue with is the generator that we brought so we can keep our devices charged so we can try to communicate with all of our friends and family out there in the cruise crew. But these, uh, the, some of these kids don't appreciate what we like to call the electricity box. Right, Sharon? Right. Look who's here. Uh, the electricity box. Sharon, do you like the electricity box? I do like the electricity box. Okay, say good morning to the peeps. Good morning. <laughs> it gives am, a wonderful background noise to nature. I am drinking my coffee. Have to have coffee what? even when you're camping. First thing. Yes, you do. I can't do anything till I have my coffee. And you don't know what it's like to deal with a very cranky, non-caffeinated Sharon at sea. It's not fun. At all. Breaking down camp is so sad. But Matthew's really become a man, a young man here on this trip. He's learned a lot of skills. All right, so you saw we got our tents and everything broken down. And now we're just doing a little shooting before we get out of here. Showing Matthew how to shoot a rifle. Let's check it out. See the crosshairs? And you can find the stump. Matthew, that was cool. Nice job, learning the right way, handling a firearm safely, securely. Very cool, you like it? Yep. All right. Did you have fun? Yep. Yep? Are you ready to go camping again? What's your favorite part about camping? Do you have a favorite part? Yeah. Is it the campfire? Yeah. Is it the food? Yeah. Is it having a tent? Yeah. Is it being with family? So the electricity to plug stuff in, that's the fun part? You like that? You like the electricity box that grandma and grandpa uh, charger brought? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I don't have one of those. Well, okay, maybe we'll get you one. Maybe we'll see. Oh my gosh, what if we told Santa to think about getting you one? Yeah. <laughs> Would that be cool? I don't know if Santa brings kids generators. We'll have to look into that, okay? All right, thanks for being here. We love you. I, uh, I think I'm gonna go to your house. Okay, that'd be awesome, soon. And there are the remains of camp. <laughs> Just some garbage bags. A table. Wow. It's never as fun to pack up as it is to unpack. Just like with any trip, actually. <laughs> I'll tell you what, one thing that we thought, we thought that we were gonna come up here, it was gonna be chilly, it was gonna be comfy, it was gonna be easy going. It's been over 80, besides the hail and the rain on Almost day one. 90, actually. Um, yes, we're in the mid 80s, we're in the sun. We're up uh, putting this, I'll tell you what, it's a lot harder to break down camp than it is to pack some luggage the night before you're getting off a cruise ship, I'll tell you that. But we had an amazing time. Uh, Happy we were, as work. <laughs> we were so lucky that, uh, you know, obviously Brett's uh, friends, great friends with the, the folks that own this property, no one was up here this weekend, so they were nice enough to let us camp out here. Um, they were also nice enough to let us borrow, use uh, one of their side-by-side -side buckies. So Brett has theirs. We were able to use the Ranger. Uh, that was amazing. What a, I mean, that made such a difference on, on our trip, didn't it? Yeah, we rode those things around every day for we long sure did. hours and We hours. sure did. So we're going to top it off with fuel before we go and uh, leave the folks ready to go on their next journeys here. So thanks for that. And um, what a day. What a weekend. Yeah. What a 4th of July, we had a blast. Yeah, and you know what? Now I just wanna go home and 
Take a shower? Take a shower. That's all I want to do is take a shower, wash my hair, and feel clean again. Okay, we can work on that. Camping is dirty. Yes, <laughs> I have a little bit of... Um, Even my fingernails are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you may be familiar with this word. If you have kids around, you're going to want to put your hand over their ears right now. But there's a lot of swamp ass going on here in the campsite. <laughs> you don't oh get this God. kind of swamp ass on a cruise, that's for sure. But uh, we're checking in to check out from our campsite. Amazing time. Thanks to uh, Brett, Brittany, Maxwell, Luke for having us and spending the weekend with us. It was tremendous. Matthew did such a great job. I'm so proud of him. You know that moment where your kid kind of hits a little bit of manhood? He hit a little bit out here, 15 and a half. And he was a young man this weekend. Did a great job, didn't he? <laughs> he did. Look he at did. him helping to care for Luke. Look at the wild hair he's got going on. That's out of control. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, young ladies. That's just camp hair. Well, he we'll, can brush it and look pretty to get sharp. Back cut tomorrow. Oh yeah, we're gonna take it off. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, Sharon, let's check out and be able to see these folks on the road. We're getting the heck out of here, okay? All right. We will see you on the road. Amazing time camping. Thanks for joining us. All gone. All gone. Luke, it's been a great time, buddy. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you later. High five it. High five it. High five me. He's, he's Boom. <laughs>